Thank you. Um, I asked Kayla this, but uh, y'all are getting a reputation for um, uh, taking it, you know, being the team drama, you know, taking it to the end of the game uh, and uh, 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 winning at the end the last two times. But uh, is this building some character for y'all? Um, it's definitely um, a different way of looking at things when you look at how we started the season. And so I just feel like our team is finding its way. It's finding um, its identity and it's accepting the role um, that has been played out for them. And we're playing it out to the best of our ability right now. You know, when you play in this league, you don't see a lot of uh, 20, 30 point games. I mean, it's just too talented of a league. And you know that teams are going to make runs. You know that teams are going to make plays. And it boils down to um, a couple of plays here and there that can either you come away with a win or you come away with a loss. And what we've done is we've been able to position ourselves to be in a lead, um, not necessarily give the lead completely away, um, but make plays down the stretch when you need them. Um, and again, you respect every opponent, you know, going to Missouri, playing at Missouri, that is not an easy place to play. And everybody knows that. To be able to take a team um, off of a big game like A&M, had a big game prior to that against Tennessee where we fell short, you know, a lot, of, a lot of highs, right? And then you don't want your team to have this low. You don't want them to, you know, feel not as up or amped up for a Missouri as you were for a Texas A&M who's ranked. And I felt like our team came in and did exactly what they need to do. Um, Asia Blackwell is a very good basketball player. I mean, she second half, she really turned it on. But, you know, ball control is always key. And we've got to clean that area up. And I think that would have been a difference in the game for us. Okay, what are your challenges this week? This is uh, probably the best team, maybe the best team you play this year. Well, anytime you play South Carolina, you know that paint points are their bread and butter. I mean, that's, that's what they are really, really exceptionally good at. And they, they get those paint points, one, through transition. So shot selection, ball security are going to be key for us. We can't, um, I think Pointer mentioned it earlier, um, we play at our pace. We got numbers, we go. We don't, we set up. So we try to keep the game really simple so there's no confusion on what play action we're running and who we're running it to. The other way that they really do a good job of scoring in the paint, obviously you've got to look at their post game, whether it's a post feed or offensive rebounding. They're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country that we're going to face with averaging 19 offensive rebounds a game. We've got to cut that number in half. And I feel like if we do that, we can, ch we can chip into the possessions that they average. They average 70 p possessions or 70 field goal attempts a game. And we're going to have to take a lot of those possessions away by keeping them off the boards, um, by not turning the ball over. And then it's going to be a game that we, that's our pace. That's our tempo. Coach, uh, Ron Wallace here with Ballin' Down South, uh, and, and you, you nailed it on the head. They do out-rebound you guys looking at the stats. But I also saw, too, that they have more turnovers than you guys. Talk a little bit about the turnover game. If you guys are able to win that and also score off of turnovers, how would you think the outcome of the game would be? Yeah, I mean, we, we want to force 20 turnovers a game and capitalize a point of turnover. And one of the things that we've tracked is – you know, they're, they're turning the ball over, South Carolina, but they're also not giving up a lot of points off of those turnovers. And, you know, there's, there's the good turnovers and then there's the, the live ball turnovers um, that you don't want to have happen. So we're going to really pay, pay close attention to that. You know, are we executing off of those turnovers? Are we able to score a point of possession for each turnover that we create? I think that's going to be the stat that's going to stick out for me. And coach, what, what are the mindset of your players right now going into this game playing a team like, like uh, South Carolina? You know what, to be honest, this team mindset is no different than it was last week. I mean, this team is fun to be around. They're always, you know, um, 
in the gym. I think when you're going through two pandemics, you appreciate the opportunity um, to be around loved ones. You appreciate the opportunity to be able to play this game. We've been very fortunate um, in regards to being healthy and um, knock on wood, we, we, we continue to do all that we can to make sure that our student athletes stay, stay healthy as well as our staff and support staff. Um, but I, I, I like the mentality of this group. Um, I like the, the fact that we are considered and, and always have been considered, no matter, no matter who we face, um, we're going to be a, a, a hardworking team that's not going to let you get things easy. So we're going to try to make it as difficult as we can um, for our opponents because we believe that we can be in every ball game when you bring your defense and your board play. Offensively, the execution is simple. Make layups and free throws, knock down some of those wide open jumpers, and then you're in a position to win. So that's been our mentality. We have six game goals that we um, focus in on every day in practice and every day in the game. We grade them on them. And so we don't have to have um, any confusion on what our mentality should be and how we should be playing. Thank you, Coach.